What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. So today is Saturday the 7th of March. Um, I hope you're all well. Um, I think it's been like two weeks since I made a video. I've just been busy, um, mainly with uni, like just trying to get this dissertation written up and last week um, I had an, an essay due on the Monday and then the Monday before that I had an exam or the Tuesday or whatever and it's just been pretty hectic. Um, into the final stretch with uni now got uh, my dissertation due in April and then two assignments and then I'm done and I'm just so excited to get it done because it's, it's pretty brutal right now I spend the majority of time just like in my office just sitting like literally sometimes for a whole day like in the yesterday just typing and it's, it's not fun but it's, it needs done anyway I'm not going to bore you with uni stuff because that's not what you're here wanting to know that's not why you're on this here on viewing this video um the reason you're viewing this video is because the announcement that i have to make is that i am competing again i am competing next month on my birthday in the scottish uni championships which i'm very excited about um it's something i was kind of thinking over for a while because i knew they were on my birthday it's just you know there was a lot that you know i have a lot of uni things during april so that was kind of make it like making me unsure whether I should do it or not but then I thought about it and the thing is I'm gonna train leading up to it anyway and I'm gonna attend it anyway because my friend who you've seen on the channel Daniele is competing so I'm gonna go and support him so it's like why not just compete anyway um I just have to make sure I'm ahead with all my uni stuff and it won't be an issue by then so yeah that's that's the big news and I'm very excited I'm back on the powerlifting prep now if you follow me on Instagram you've seen I'm back on a more powerlifting focused block um I guess another big question people will be asking is am I being coached by Mark this time around. I am not, not for any like negative reasons whatsoever. The prep with Mark was so successful. I learned so much. He's a great coach. Go check him out. Um, I'll put his link below again. Um, but it's just, I learned so much that I think that I can do well on my own and I want to gain experience of coaching myself through a meet with the hope that in the future, if I have clients that do want to compete at Power of the Meet, I can, you know, be able to I will be able to coach them through that so um, that's the idea um, like I say Mark's still a great coach I'm just assigned to go for this on my own but with that said the new training block I am running is very much based on the program Mark set up for me um, for the previous competition so again I give full credit to him for that there is a few tweaks I'm making just to change a few things to make it better suited to what I enjoy but a lot of it like the main stuff is a lot of the same because you know if it ain't broke don't fix it it worked really well the first time so we'll just run it again see how we get on and then next time you can make changes if you need to because after the uni championships I'm competing the month after again in the Scottish classics which is essentially like the best of Scotland going to compete from all the districts which will be insane like in the district competitions and I think the uni competitions you have to hit a certain total to be able to qualify for the Scottish Classics so I did and I'm going to go compete in that so two competitions in two months it's going to be a lot of hard work but I'm excited I'm excited to see if I can really push myself like without having that coach there and you know keep picking up on my technique and getting better and better but um, as you saw um, at the start of this video, you know, I hit another, like my, I hit uh, one rep max PBs with um, squat hitting 240 and deadlift hitting 250. That was after the 145 bench as well. So I'm on track, you know, it's all going well. Um, I have had a few little niggles. Um, on Monday, I squatted at um, Pleasance and I just had um, my tennis elbow from ages ago flare up again, but it seems pretty okay now. Um, I fuck it. I was doing pause squats the other day and I've got a really sore left glute which is actually a lot worse than I saw, thought it doesn't like stop me doing anything but god it's just sore when I like lift my leg um, and yeah <laughs> so you know start prep and then things just start being niggly but I've got something coming that hopefully will help that which I will show you but what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to chill get something to eat and then we're gonna head for an early session it's like 9 a.m. now so we'll head to the gym pretty soon so see you there today's session uh, starting off a bench 110 um, going for four sets of five and the final set we're gonna take to RP9 I'm not sure how um, I'm not sure what I'm gonna go for with the uh, RP9 set I'll just need to see how the first four sets go uh, the first session of the week was second session of the week was bench as well. I hit 112 for forces five, and then 117.5 for um, five at the end at an RP9. So I'm hoping to beat that. 
Um, we'll see what we do. Elbow feels fine in the warm up, so just finger across, it stays that way. Let's get into set one. First set moved absolutely fine, no real elbow pain at all. So I'll catch up with you at set four and then see what we do for set five. Okay, that fourth set of 110 was very speedy. I'm gonna go up to 120 for a set of five on Tuesday. I had 117, 117 for um, five and RP9. It was quite difficult, but that felt a lot better. I'm feeling confident. Elbow feels a lot better. I'm just gonna go for it. This will be a PB, especially with all that volume before it. Let's go. I think the best last we ever got with 120 it was three after like sets, so this will be like, let's do it. So that 120 weight moved way, way better than I expected. Definitely an overall sort of like volume PB. Probably could have done a bit more, but I wasn't sure. Happy with it anyway. Um, rest of the session, just gonna do some incline bench. So with front raises, pull ups, and then some arm stuff. But I think that's all I'm gonna show you the workout because you know the main lifts are what count. Um, and the rest of this, <laughs> just not that interesting to watch. So I'll catch up with you later. <laughs> it's here. Right, let's get this opened. So you're probably wondering what the heck this is. I got one of the, so open, massage guns. So I'll come and show you. Right, so this is it here. I got it from Amazon, Jane Choi. And um, this is the one Danielle got. He got one a while back and I decided that it would be a good investment. Um, I was at the gym um, a while back doing deadlifts when I pulled 242 for two, and after it my lower back felt a bit tight and someone in the gym, Stuart, had one of these, I think it might be the same one, and he just stuck it in my lower back, went over and literally the tightness went like that. Now, I don't understand the exact science behind it or anything, but from that experience I was like, this could really help me and it's an investment into you know, helping me recover a bit better. <laughs> Massage guns don't like, you know, fix everything and they don't completely save you from injury, but if it helps me recover a bit better, it's a good investment, especially if you consider like, you know, a massage gun, like 90 quid, opposed to getting a sports massage every now and then, over time that adds up to more. So I'm gonna get this thing working and try it out. All right, luckily it was already charged and the manual says charge for like six hours before use and I was like, ah, oh, fuck that's this part of the video screwed, but got it on, you can see you just turn it on and then you can put, I don't know if that'll focus, but basically it goes up in number and you can go pretty fucking fast, so that could really dig into you you've got all these different um, attachments, don't know if you can really see them, but they're all for like different parts like different muscles, smaller muscles, bigger muscles, trigger points, so I'm gonna give it a go first on my glute, which will look really fucking weird and then I'm gonna try it on like my bicep, my tricep and maybe dig into like my elbow wee bit and my shoulder and see if that maybe takes a little bit of the ache away Fine. Oh, yeah, fuck it. That really does dig in. So, I think this one's for like large muscle groups. <laughs> this just looks so bad, but. <sighs> Alright, so that's level 5. I never feel like doing something anyway. So, 10. Okay. 
So what Stuart did when I tried it before, just move it all around. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Alright. Does I actually feel a bit better? Huh. Not like fixed, but I can definitely feel it doing something anyway. Like before this morning when I woke up, is he trying to do that? It was so sore. But it's actually feeling quite good. So first thought, pretty good. I'm glad to have it as well. Just I've seen a lot of people start using these pre-workout, post-workout, so I, I think it's just what's best for you, but I'll look into it a bit more. Now we'll try my bicep, tricep and dig into here. Maybe try different attachments. Yeah, so for my elbow, the pain kind of like, is just around my bicep and then right in my elbow. So I'm just going to try like moving it around and digging it in, seeing if I feel any difference. So we'll just put on five to start with. Because that one is more, it's plasticky, so it's plasticky, it's like harder, so I don't want to like dig into myself too much. So let's try like digging into here. Oh, yeah, feel something there. Like I've seen like Eddie Hall and stuff use it before, especially when benching like like up here on their shoulder and stuff. And Danielli let me have a shot of doing that. It's quite a good way of just like getting the muscles warm, I think. You can really like dig in, so I'll put it a little bit harder for that one. But yeah, I'm gonna keep using this one the next few while and I'll keep reporting to you as if I feel any sort of difference. But like I say, that one time I tried it with Stuart, I was like, fuck, I can, especially on my lower back, I was like, I can feel that. And you know, if it's an investment that can help me long term, I'm gonna use it a lot, and it'll help. But yeah, I'll uh, keep you updated with that as we go along um, and just see if it's any use. But even just from that initial use, like, I can definitely feel a lot of difference. It might just be a placebo, but I definitely need more time using it to really notice the difference. Um, now, basically all I'm going to do is go and write my dissertation. So I'm going to do that for a bit, and I'll update you guys later on. I feel so, like, shit at vlogging now, just because, like, I don't have time to, like, probably plan out vlogs and make them as good as I want. It literally is just, like, documentation. I hope you guys still enjoy it. I can't wait until the uni's over so I can really focus on making quality content, but for now you just have to put up with me chatting shit. It's a couple hours later now, it's like quarter past four, so I think I spoke to you guys last at like one. Just trying to get through my methodology for my dissertation, and my mum brought me um, some food. Focus, thank you mum, you're a legend, I love you so much. You always do this for me, I appreciate it. Um, and it made me think, I haven't really told you guys what I'm doing diet wise. So, diet wise right now I'm eating between 3,000 and 3,500 calories. In terms of macros, I'm just trying to hit a really good protein target between like 160 to 200 grams. And then where carbs and fats fall, I'm not too fussed about as long as like, I'm like eating decent food. Um, just because on some days I eat like 3,000, the other day I eat like 3,500 because I'm maintaining weight around like, I fluctuate between like, like this morning I think I weighed at like 92.3 or 4 kilos. But at the last comp, when I weighed on that scale, I was 90.4. Then I went to the comp and I weighed in at 89.4. So I think that's actually like a kilo up um, to what like the competition weigh-ins are. So realistically, I'm probably like 90, mid-91 kilos. Uh, so I'm just trying to like maintain around that weight. Training's going fine, so there's no need for me to like shoot calories up or anything. Obviously, I, I can't shoot up calories because I need to stay at the same weight. But it's feeling me just fine and I'm just not too stressed about food. So the goal, in terms of my weight for the rest of the while, it'll just be to like maintain under 93. And then if I really need to, which I doubt I will, I could do a little water cut before the competition. But I'll be fine, I'll make weight fine. Um, last time being 90.4 and having a little bit extra weight will actually probably help me. But yeah, like I say, I've got enough, more than enough fuel with like 3,000 to 3,500 calories for training. And I'm eating fine, and I'm just making sure I get a good amount of protein. So, the goal with the methodology is to try and get this to like. I'm currently on like 500 words. I'm trying to try and get to like 800 to 1,000 because this section is meant to be like 1,500. Um, and then I'm going for a pint with Harry and his dad. I think so. That that'll be cool, and that's like my motivation to just get through it. I'm gonna put my hand over this, and we're gonna be at like 800 to 1,000 words, and I'm gonna be going for a pint, and I'm gonna be happy.
didn't quite make the 800 words, but we got close, so it's still okay if I go for a pint anyway. Just going to go to the bus stop to meet Harry. Um, I hope you guys did enjoy the video. I'm competing again. There's a big two months ahead. There's a lot going on. I'm going to keep trying to make videos and keep trying to update you. Um, I appreciate all your support. Please remember to leave the video a like, subscribe if you're new, and I will see you in the next one.